Hello everybody, this is en route and it is extremely late and I am exhausted but I have to put this message out. I already made this message on a video, on a, on a voice memo but the sound was off and it was going through a headphone so I had to put this message out, okay? I hope people could just hear me out for a second and uh, stick with me here. So in order for us to change society, we must change the culture around sex. Our, our culture around sex is extremely toxic and it's a big reason why uh we all suffer so much sex is our spiritual energetic code and what that means is that when we live in a society where everybody's spreading out their energetic code all over the place and the energetic code that is spreading their energetic code around is negative then you create trauma you create a perpetuation of suffering right and so it can be dangerous for us to whole to, to focus only on like you know your your urges your lustful urges or your your you know, maybe just something that you have a desire for or something like that, but is it necessarily the logical choice, right? So understanding if you're equally yoked, right? You know, it doesn't matter if, you know, you want something. Is it equally yoked? Are you, you know, together? Is it working? Are you meshing, right? So we can actually have heaven here on earth, but it's only possible if we change the way that we have sex because sex is everything. Sex is life, sex is energy. And the way we're having sex creates a negative energetic field that transmutes onto this planet, earth, world we live in and it creates this 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 tension that we have going on right and so if we understand how we 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 play with sex like it's a toy we play with ourselves like we're toys right we we play with something that is everything that is the most one of the most important things right and and sex is supposed to be between one to one right it's not supposed to be like a haram where it's one to a hundred and the thing about it is that The way that we have sex is like, it's very degrading towards the feminine energy. The way that we have sex, a lot of the times, you see that a woman can become one of the greatest versions of herself, but there are still men that would want to knock her down a peg or two, right? And not allow her to get to her full potential. And why is that? Well, because so many men do not have the capacity or the willpower or the want or the belief that they can become a better version of themselves too. And it, but, so, but they want to attain something that is better than them without actually being what is equally yoked to what that is, right? And so women are told to settle. Women are told to, to accept less, to be less, to dim themselves because she wants more and if you ask for more then 
you know, you're asking for too much, but then men ask a woman to cut herself on the table for bigger tits, like that's not asking for too much. Men expect women to put their lives on the line by having their children, getting surgeries, you know, and just doing so many things to upkeep themselves, but then she's asking too much, you know, of you to be a better person, right? Or just like to be moral in, in a sense. And so the thing about it is that the standard for men has been kind of lowered, right? Like when it comes to women, right? Men hold each other accountable, but a lot of times, and obviously it's not all the time, women, women's only recourse is to be like, well, darling, let me beat around the bush a little bit for you and say you were, you know, not being super respectful. And, and you know, I'm not saying this is all guys, but it's just like women are not allowed to be straight up. Women are not allowed to be humans. We have to put up a fucking act for you guys all the time. And it's just so frustrating because you guys get so angry and it's like, oh, you're not talking to me with respect. It's like you never talk to us with respect. And so, you know, I just find all these men, they just, they, they want all this respect they never earned. And then, and I get it, this world is hard, this world is difficult, but it's not just difficult for men. And the thing about it is men make it difficult on everybody, including themselves. And this is not a, a war video about the sex thing. It's just that as the stronger, physically stronger part of the species, unfortunately, it's not like a woman could, you know, manhandle you, you know, what are we supposed to do when you guys, you know, you make everything a freaking game, you make it a joke, you make sex something to, to joke around with your friends and say, oh, you know, you're, you're just playing with women's lives, you're destroying women's lives for fun, for jokes, for shits and giggles, to shoot the shit. <laughs> And it's, it's disgusting behavior. And then we all wonder why you go back home and your life is empty and you have this void that you can't fill.